Well, the Dubara TV, I mean, we're the uh, two coaches just to reflect on the season so far and the impressive win at the, uh, the weekend. Uh, JC, what do you think about the weekend? Well, yeah, good result for us. Uh, we've had a good job result last week. So I made a few tweets, I did a few extras in. Uh, it's good to see the last couple of play on Saturday. So, uh, strong first 40 minutes. Uh, very difficult second half. A uh, couple of yellows, uh, lost that shape a little bit. Uh, made it a bit difficult for us, but we were well ahead by then, uh, so we are pleased to see. Absolutely, absolutely. It was, uh, you can tell what it was in the stand before the game. You, know, you get a vibe, and there's a big crowd there, and the crowd can tell it's a big game, and I think the players kind of felt that a little bit, especially in training, the week building up to it. Seemed to be an extra focus ahead of such a big game. Yeah, well, we tried to take that away from the like, initial pressure to get that point, talking up to another game, so pre match we talked about the fact that we focus on ourselves. On the opposition, uh, just another game of rugby, mm-hmm. uh, home advantage, what we did to our away, um, and try not to let the, the fact that it's a big occasion get to the players so they can focus on their jobs and uh, play the way they want to play. Yep, and um, a few words on young, uh, young Tom, uh, fly out, he seemed to uh, yeah. fit in quite well for his Yeah, day. he's still only days for him, yeah. to be honest, but still yeah. finding his feet, yeah. um, getting used to our structure and the way we play and all the lads we do around him. But, uh, Positive start for the youngster and uh, good to see. Yeah, yeah, he certainly enjoyed it. What are your thoughts on the season so far and how is it going to, you know, get into the business end now? And uh, what are your hopes and whatever? Yeah. Well, we set the plan out to start with top two to mm-hmm. get out of this league. And, um, you know, it's, it's coming up to crunch time now. We've got the three teams that are avoiding each other at the top. Mm-hmm. This weekend, the big one, Hollis and Ambridge, is they're playing each other. Um, some of them are going to lose that one. We've just got to focus now on the next game now, which is Atlanta. Um, you know, before the last week, I think we'll be training, you know, another week of training this week. Um, the idea is that we just go and do a good job on that this week, try and get five points and see what happens on the horizon. Potentially a tricky game to talk to you over, isn't it? Yeah, it's a potential. They, they tend to pick somebody off every year. They, they beat Connaughton last year, uh, which actually crashed their uh, promotion by last season. So yeah. they are a banana skin, it's a small pitch, they are wiring much, and, and they play well for each other, so it's not going to be an easy game. I mean, no, we've got to a small pitch, we've got to the contest. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter to change how we play as well. You know, to suit the conditions, to suit the pitch. You know, we're probably not having the same weight as we're playing on Saturday. But, uh, but the boys will be up for a little bit of training this week. That's what we're for. That's what kills all kills out there. The quick ball. The, 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 the raw set of the right up. It's just we were playing some quick, quick, quick win. And talking is going to do with you. Um, thank you very much, chaps. That's it. I'll let you go with your training. No, Thanks, right. man. And we'll have to see you again soon.